Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be fighting the Taurus Demon. I'm going to show you his move set and um, some strategies and tips for him. Um, one thing to note is he is weak to fire and lightning. So if you're using pyromancy, awesome. Also you can get some gold pine resin and use that on your weapon. Um, Another thing I'm going to show you real quick, because it's just right here, is how to access Havel the Rock in very early parts of the game. Um, if you chose the Master Key as your starting gift, you can actually come up here, and I already opened the door, but usually this door right here is closed, and you can open it using the Master Key, and you go down a couple flights of these stairs, and he'll be at the bottom. Um, he drops one of my favorite rings in the game, which is Havel's Ring, which basically um, increases your carrying capacity, your your weight capacity by 50%, which is pretty great, and which basically allows you to still do fast rolls while wearing, um, carrying pretty heavy stuff. It's a great ring. Okay, well let's get to the Taurus Demon. <clears throat> So, just go through the fog gate, and he won't come out yet. First thing you're going to want to do is go down the stairs, turn right, and go up these stairs because there's a couple archers up here you're going to want to take out first. Okay, once they're done, go down the stairs. I'm going to show you a few different strategies. One of them um, will be a just a basic magic strategy, just bait, a, bait his attack, roll backwards, hit him with magic. You can also do that same thing and you just hit him with your melee attacks. Um, also, I'm going to show you one where we climb up the, this ladder and we do plunging attacks. It's probably the most effective way of doing, doing it, um, especially if you have some gold pine resin to put on your weapon because it's going to make it's going to make you do more damage because he's weak to lightning as well, um, and he's weak to fire. So we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to um, use fire bombs on him as well. All right. Um, First thing I'll show you is fire bombs and magic. And then we'll finish him off with some plunging attacks. And he's going to jump down from that tower. So, what we're going to do is bait his attack, roll backwards, hit him with a fire bomb. That actually does a fair amount of damage. That is a very viable strategy. Oh, and he got me. It's really hard to avoid that attack when you when you need to get behind him. Thought I had Estus. All right, now let's do some magic. Bait his attack. Oop! I didn't quite make it. I'm gonna have to try to run past him here. And that is not going to work. There we go. Sometimes it can be a nuisance. It can be hard to get past if you need to run past him. So bait that attack and hit him with magic. Bait that attack, roll backwards, hit him with magic. Just like that. And if you're really close to him like that, a lot of times he won't hit you. So next thing I'm going to show you is doing the plunging attacks. I'm just going to put some gold pine resin on my weapon. Oh, and he hit me. So you're going to want to make sure he's pretty far behind you before you climb this ladder because he will be able to hit you while you're on the ladder if you don't. I'm going to hurry and heal myself as well. What I recommend is dual wield, or put two hands on the weapon, jump down, and do that, that attack. And that, by far, did more damage than any other method. Especially because we got this gold pine resin going. We're 
run past him. So I'd recommend it baiting his attack when you run past him and then climb the stairs. I think he's gonna hit me here. Oh, I got lucky he didn't hit me. And our gold pine resin ran out, but we still might be able to kill him here. Oh, he's got a tiny sliver of health. We'll just take him out with some good old-fashioned melee. There we go. Bye-bye, buddy. And he is destroyed. Um, so he actually does have a rare drop, which is the Demon Great Axe, I believe. Which is that huge weapon that he's wielding, which is great for strength builds. Um, it's actually probably my favorite weapon to use as a strength build, but it takes a lot of strength. You have to have, I, I think, 50 strength in order to use it. But it's a really good weapon for strength builds. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching.